Today we're going to be doing blending in Photoshop, but this is a very special request. It was from my friend, kind of, sort of, friend-ish thing, person. Anyways, so this is going to be a very, like, easy way of doing blends, and we're going to be doing this blend today. Right. Okay. So, get out the pictures. Open. Bam. And now, you realize how they're definitely a lot like bigger than the other? Like this one's a lot taller, this one's a lot smaller. But that's fine because we're gonna crop them. So go to click the big thingy on this picture and click on the crop tool right there. Bam, third down. And now start from the beginning and go kind of like down. And let's do it like right there. Bam, now crop. And now let's go to this one, and let's do it to like right there, now crop. Now, let's get this one, and you see that this still pretty much, this one's still kind of smaller than that one, but that's fine, because we're just going to fix that anyway. Now, go to this one, and we'll go to image, image size. 332407. Now we have to remember that. Remember the width and the height. 332407. 332407. Now go to File, New, and type in those numbers. 332407. And now we want that height to be the same, but now let's do 332 times 2. So what's that? What? Like 66? Six, six, Four? I don't know really, but whatever. Okay. Now go back to this one and click the rectangular marquee tool, the very first one up there, right below the feather, right there. Bam. Now um, select her, or you could go to layer, select, select canvas, or yeah. Anyway, so now go to edit, copy. Now go to this white document and go to edit, paste. Now we don't have to worry about putting her in the place now. Now let's do this one. So you can go to select, all, and then go to edit, copy. Instead of doing the rectangular thingy majigger. And now go to edit, paste her on there. Okay. So. Right, so. Um, the reason I can drag this is because I click the F tool. When it's like this, or whatever, click, just go to your keyboard and click F one time. And now you can drag it wherever. I like this option a lot better. Because, yeah. Anyways, so now um, click on your layer 1, not the background. Go to Edit, Free Transform and bring it over here. Yeah. And now click on anything on your sidebar. And go to layer two. Edit free transform. And put it like over here a little. Bam, like right there. Now click shift on your keyboard and bring that up a little if it doesn't like work. Now I know she's a little pixelated, but we're gonna fix that. Anyway, apply the transformation. And now you can just kind of start erasing, you know. It's a lot better to get pictures that, you know, like aren't d two different colors. But since this one's a lot darker than this one, then like it's a lot harder. But I'm just going to completely go around her. But I'm doing it really crappy, so just in a hurry, like seriously. So... Yours is hopefully going to look a lot better. Right. Bam. And now let's go to the crop tool again and just like crop it right there. And crop. And now, you see how right there it's darker than right there? Let's go to your polygon tool. Or it might be on your lasso tool, so you right click on it and go to the polygon tool. It kind of looks like a it's the one below the lasso tool, and it says polygon lasso tool, down. And now let's just kind of, so 
select around that. Right, and bam. And um, go to this right here, or you can click your eye tool. Click the eye on your keyboard, and it'll go to the eyedropper tool. Now, get a little selection over here where it's a lot darker, or you could just get in the selection so it looks better. And then f do the flip thing right here. Click that. So now the blue is on top of the pink. And now get the lighter selection. And do the flippy thingy again. Now go to your gradient tool. Press G on your computer keyboard thing. And bring it like that. Well, other way. Okay, for some reason it's acting like a douche. Oh, okay. Oh, go to your background and don't do that. That won't work. Okay, I officially do not know what I'm doing. Make a new layer. <laughs> um, okay, go to layer, new, layer. Okay, now do it. Bam. You could click shift on your keyboard and start right there and then go bam. Well, other way around actually. Right. And so select, dislect. It looks pretty realistic. Yeah, looks really good, right? And so there we go. There's your blend.